Simplify the expression. Assume all variables represent positive real numbers. We have the cube root of 16 t to the third s to the fifth minus the cube root of 54 t to the sixth s squared. These are both cube roots, but we can't combine them in any way until we have the same thing underneath the cube roots. So let's try and simplify and hope that we get the same radicals. In order to simplify 16 t cubed s to the fifth, the cube root of that, we need this to be powers of three, or uh, things to the third power, excuse me. So let's go ahead and write 16 as 2 to the fourth times t cubed times s to the fifth. And we're taking the cube root of that. We want things to the third power or sixth power, ninth power, multiples of three. So let's do the cube root of 2 cubed times 2. t cubed already a to the power of 3, so let's leave that. s to the fifth, we're going to use s cubed, which we know the cube root of, and s squared, which we don't. s cubed is the biggest one that we can get in there, so s cubed times s squared. So we have the cube root of, let's pull out the things that do have cube roots, the 2 cubed, the t cubed, and the s cubed, and let's leave the other stuff, the cube root, the 2, and the s squared. So we have 2ts, and we have the cube root of 2s squared. Let's look at the other one. With 54, I know that 54 is 2 times 27, so that's 2 times 3 cubed. So we have minus uh, the cube root of 2 times 3 cubed times t to the sixth times s squared. Again, we want to pull out perfect cubes out of this. Everything here is actually what, what, what we already needed because we have two, we have three cubed, we have t to the sixth, and we have s squared. Nothing here can we actually simplify down. So let's do minus the cube root of the, the things that do have, that are raised to third powers, three cubed and t to the sixth and the stuff that's not, 2 and s squared. So we have minus the cube root, excuse me, minus 3t squared, the cube root of 3 cubed is 3, t to the 6 will divide its power by 3 and get t squared, the cube root of 2s squared. So let's write that right here, minus 3t squared, the cube root of 2s squared, and our final answer is going to be the fact that these two are the same radical now, and so we can write 2ts minus 3t squared times the cube root of 2s squared.